Good afternoon all. This is a little voltage regulator. Uh, it's a DC to DC converter, a buck converter, so it's a step down regulator. And uh, the spec is written on the back. Input voltage can be between 9 and 35 volts. And the output voltage, uh, I don't know what the first two numbers are, but it's 5 volts, 5 amps. It's a fixed voltage uh, voltage regulator. There's no potentiometer on there, so you can't adjust it. Now, I don't particularly like this in-ground-out connector arrangement. I generally prefer them where you've got an input on one side and an output on the other. But this is laid out uh, like a, a linear regulator, the three terminal regulators that you get in a TO220 can. They're generally in-ground-out. So I suppose uh, if you're treating it purely as a three terminal regulator, it kind of works in that sense. But because this is a switch mode device, it has a major benefit over a linear regulator. And that is that although this steps the voltage down from the input to the output, it can actually step the current up. Now a linear regulator can't do that. You can't get more current out than is going in. But with a switch mode, you can. Now there's something else about this DC to DC converter that gives it the edge over this sort of type, which uses the LM2596. And that is that this one is synchronous. Let's take a look at the eBay listing. So here it is. It's a DC to DC buck, 9 to 35 volts in, 5 volts, fixed 5 volts, 5 amps, step down, synchronous rectification power supply module. Now this one was $3.95, free shipping from eGoTo. But what's this synchronous rectification all about? So in a conventional buck converter, you have a switch, which is uh, generally a MOSFET. There's a diode to ground. Now this can be a shock key diode to improve performance. And then there's an inductor on the output. And this is an asynchronous buck converter, conventional buck converter. The synchronous buck converter does away with the diode and instead puts another switch, another MOSFET, here in this position. So you've actually got two MOSFETs and then the control chip is responsible for switching each one on and off at the right time. In other words, synchronizing them to uh, make sure that the, uh, the system is efficient. And that is a synchronous buck converter. So here's the controller chip here. It's a TPS40057. It's a Texas Instruments chip. And that's controlling these two MOSFETs. So one of these will be in place of the diode, the Schottky diode. And the other one will be where a standard buck converter also has a MOSFET. So these are the two MOSFETs. Now there is a diode here, an SO3. I assume that means Schottky 3 amp. But it looks like it's just designed for uh, input polarity reversal protection. But it does rather spoil, I think, the, uh, the circuit because, of course, this is going to have the sort of losses that uh, an asynchronous buck converter will have if you're using a diode in the buck converter itself. So it does seem a shame to me that that diode's been put in there. So here's the data sheet for the TPS4005X. There are a few different types. And you can see here that uh, V in comes along here through the switching MOSFET. Now, in an asynchronous uh, buck converter, you'd have a Schottky diode here to ground, but in this version, you have another MOSFET, and that is what improves the efficiency over an asynchronous. And then here's the inductor running out to the output where you'll have a smoothing capacitor. Now, on this application diagram, you'll notice that there is no uh, input diode for reverse polarity protection because that would spoil the uh, efficiency of this circuit. And that's the main advantage of a synchronous uh, buck converter. You don't have the losses associated with the Schottky diode to ground. Because the MOSFET is used instead of a diode, you don't have the volt drop. Uh, you will have a tiny volt drop because if you put a current through uh, what is essentially a resistive element, and MOSFETs um, are always specified in terms of on resistance, there will be a tiny volt drop, but it's far less than a shock key diode would give you. So this buck converter is more efficient than the standard uh, one using a diode. So this thing has a 5 amp rating, and that's relatively easy to achieve 
with the very low on resistance MOSFETs that's this, that this is using, that typically the area where uh, there are problems is in the inductor. But not here it would seem, because this inductor is quite intriguing. It doesn't appear to use enameled copper wire. It appears to be using some sort of enameled copper strip, which is wound into a spiral. So I think for this module, rather than power it on and just see that it works, I think I'm actually going to destroy it. So $3.95 and I've never even plugged it in, but I'm going to try and break the top off this inductor. And there it is, because I want to look at this spiralled uh, copper strip, which replaces what would normally be uh, enamel copper wire in an inductor. So let's lift this out, probably damaging the uh, enamel, but that's a really beautiful thing, isn't it? An enamelled copper strip as opposed to enamelled copper wire. And of course, because it's a strip, it has a cross-sectional profile, essentially of a rectangle. Don't seem to be able to get in there anymore. Let me just ease that apart. So with this having the cross-section of a rectangle rather than a circle, you can see that uh, it has a much higher, or a little bit higher, uh, current carrying capacity. So I think that's really interesting. It's quite uh, interesting how they've managed to curve this because obviously the outside must have got stretched while the inside got compressed. But yeah, that's a really neat inductor. Now, of course, this will never work, but I just had to have a look at that. So now that I've destroyed this module, as I say, I didn't particularly like the uh, connector arrangement. I think what I'm going to do is replace it with this one. It's a bit more expensive, but it has an input connector on one side, an output connector on the other. It's a fixed 5 volt, 5 amp again, but it also has a USB socket, probably the same controller the two MOSFETs, for, so it's synchronous rectification again, and it also has this rather nice high current inductor. What I can't see on here is a diode providing uh, input reverse polarity protection, which to be quite honest, I don't really want. If it is there, I'll uh, just perhaps wire it out and take a chance. But yes, I think I'm gonna order that one to replace the one I just broke. So this is kind of a new breed of high efficiency uh, DC to DC buck converter with a more sophisticated controller chip, dual MOSFET, synchronous rectification, and these very nice high current inductors. I like it. Cheerio.